Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I will work with the filament. I have opened here the admin panel, but right now we can uh, log in with that test user we have created. So if I open the database seeder, yeah, when we run the artisan migrate further to see it, we create this user and right now we can log in with this or with any user in our project but if you don't if we don't want that and we need to protect the admin we can go here i am in the panel builder right now and here on the right panel we have allowing user to access a panel and we can copy this method and also implement we need to implement the filament user in the user model so let's copy that and let's open here the user model and i'm going to say implement filament user okay and then we need to paste this one also the panel we need to import that filament panel and we are okay so on the return string ends with this email so the user email is going to return for now i'm going to say admin.com or we can say uh, netflix for example let's imagine we have a domain name netflix.test and all the users who has this domain this email domain so at netflix.test can access the panel and right now if i come here and refresh Let's see if I can log in with a test user. So test example.com, add the password. And just to show you, here I have the password. If I say sign in, yeah. Now let's go and create that user. So I'm going to open the database seeder again. And instead of this, I'm going to create a user. I'm going to say admin at netflix dot test and also we can say netflix admin as a user with that now we need also to run the terminal somewhere down here the terminal and just say fresh okay right now let's come here and refresh and log in now with that admin at netflix dot test add the password and let's say sign in now we are here and let's start and work with the resources first as i told you i'm going to group them so if i open here the filament let's go to getting started in the resources right panel we have navigation I think, yeah, resource navigation items. So for example, you can change the label if you don't like. We have categories, episodes, but I prefer to have the same here. But if you don't like, so for example, the series, if you like to be a TV show, so we can do that. Let's go up and let's copy this. And let's open the series resource. And I'm going to change the label to be TV shows, for example. Okay, so TV shows. And now let's see in the browser, if I refresh, we have TV shows here. Okay, next what I want is to group them. So also I want to change the icons and as you can see, he's using hero icons for that. I have opened this hero icon here. So first let's group them so we can add a sort I'm going to copy this and let's add, let's start with the uh, categories. So category resource and I'm going to paste that in. So the name is going to be groups. Okay, we have here the icons now for category. I think we are okay with this icon for the category. Yeah. I'm going to do it like this. But for the others, I'm going to change. 
Next, we added the group, but also, as I told you, I'm going to add the sort. So let's copy this and let's add also the sort. The category is going to be the first one. And I'm going to copy this and apply on the genres. So let's go to genre, resource, and paste it. Or let's leave the genre first and category a second. Now if I come here, refresh, we have groups here and genres and categories. Okay. Next I'm going to copy and let's open the movie resource and apply it here. And I'm going to start with the name to change here. I'm going to change that to movies. The first one is going to be then movies is going to be one and the icon for the movie is going to be let's search for movies. Yeah, I'm going to say video camera for the movie and film for the series. So let's change the name here to video camera. And next, let's copy this, open the series resource. And yeah, we have the label here, add the group movies. The sort is going to be two. The icon is going to be film. So let's say Philip here. Next, I'm going to open the episode resource. And here I'm going to paste that in. Also for the here, for the resource, I'm going to add a film. So let's say film. What was a uh, video camera? Sorry. Video camera and the episode is going to be number three. Let's see now what we get first. If I refresh, yeah, we have groups, movies, movies, TV shows, and episodes. And now we have worked also with the user. So let's open the user resource and paste it. This one here. The name is going to be users, sort one, and also we can change the name of the icon, which is user group, I think. Come here and refresh. Yeah, now we are okay. Good. Let's start and work with the genres. So right now we have empty here. So let's start and work with that. We want to go to form builder. And here, for example, we have a text input, select, and so on. If I open the genres resource, uh, sorry, in the migration, we have only the name and the slug. And for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to search here for slug. And yeah. Here we have an example and I'm going to copy this and paste it here on the form schema. Also, let me just zoom it a little bit for you. I'm going to close this. We need to import the set. Okay, import the class from the filament form set and also the STR from Laravel Illuminate support. So import class Illuminate support STR. Also, we need to import the text input. And I think we are okay. Let's go back and let's see if I refresh now. And yeah, because we are in the user resource, not in the genre resource. Sorry for that. I'm going to paste it here and let's import them. Now let's come and refresh. Now we have a title in the Slack. And if we add, for example, action, as we can see, also the Slack is populated. Good. Now we need to work with categories, movies, TV shows, episodes, 
and also with uh, users and for users i'm going to just uh, work with this uh, with a table so let's do that let's open the tables just to show you and then behind the scenes i'm going to populate all the resources so the movie resource and so on because i don't want to take too much time for you so i'm going to create a fix them in the behind the scenes and show you in the next video so for now just let's show you the how we can work with tables so we have a text column and yeah this is how we can do a text column make and the name of the column so for example title here in our case we have a title and slug and let's say text column make title we are on the genre resource comma and also text column make slug let's see if i come here and refresh uh, sorry in the genres let's go and create new genre for that we need also to open the genre model and here we need to add the protected word to be an empty string and we need to do that for all of them all the models so let's open also the movie and say protected not fillable but guarded with going to be an empty array next is the Siri the same thing protected but not fillable I want to add guarded next is the episode the same thing and also the category and I think we are good now let's see if I refresh and create a new genre and I'm going to say action let's say create uh, yeah we need to go to channel resource and instead of title not title but it's name I forgot that also here name and let's say for example action now the slug you can change but by default it's going to be what the name is and I'm going to say create created we can delete or we can go back and here we can see the name and the slug okay and as I told you in behind the scenes I'm going to work with uh, all the resources and then in the next video I'm going to show you what I have done now if you like such a videos friend don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best